What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Today I'm bringing you the SCH-F2SM. This one here is the smaller version of that like uh, hollow handle survival knife. Um, picked it up on eBay and uh, badass, badass. So these are discontinued blades and I know I, you know, I get asked a lot, so I thought I'd bring that up right now. Uh, you know, how come a lot of these, these blades you're showing us that uh, a lot of these old ones I'm getting off eBay, how come I'm not reviewing, you know, doing hard use reviews or tests on them? Simple answer is because they're in mint condition and I want to keep the value of them up, you know, in the future if I want to sell them. You know, they're only going to go up in value. They're discontinued. They don't make them anymore. Um, I will do definitely be doing a lot more uh hard use review videos on standard blades that you can still purchase. And to me, it doesn't make sense, right? I'm gonna show you a blade and, and, and go through all the paces of it and show you how badass it is and scrape it up and lower the value for something you can't really get, you know? I mean, you can maybe find on eBay and for, you know, now and then. So it's like, to me, it's pointless to show what the knife can do if it's an older knife that's more of a collector piece than it is of a user piece at this point. So that's the whole reason why, you know, I don't do hard use reviews on all of these blades that I show you. Because again, like I told you guys before, I'm part collector, part user. So I do both, you know. And I will definitely promise you I'll be doing blades. Actually, I got a couple coming from Scab from Choir Boys Outdoors. He's sending me a couple to test. I have a couple other ones coming in that you guys can purchase. They're still available and that I'm going to do hard harder review and show you all the ins and outs of it. Uh, but again, for these ones here, these are just to show you guys because they're beautiful pieces. And I want to show you my collection. So, so let's start off with the, this one came brand new in the box. And there's the model number if you want to see it. Um, I believe there are a few still uh, for sale on there. And again, like I told you before in my last video, eBay always has these jokers that want to sell this for triple, quadruple the price they went for, you know, like this knife brand new went for 40 to 60 bucks. And I seen these on there for anywhere from like 250 to 300, which is ridiculous. You know, I wouldn't pay that. But for a reasonable price, you can still find these for around 80 to 150, 130 bucks, right around there. Um, if you do shopping and wait and be patient, there, there's some that come up for bid and they, they start off at like, you know, 30 bucks and then, you know, work their way up to maybe they sell around 100, 150 tops, you know. So um, you can't still find them, which is a little more than when they first went for. But again, they're already discontinued and they're badass blades. They're hard to find. And I think maybe possibly just my theory is maybe they stopped manufacturing because they're kind of hard to manufacture because these are one piece drop forged knives. So before I get to the knife, let me show you the sheath that comes in. So. This here is a ballistic nylon sheath, um, you know, kind of for the budget ones, you know, the budget ones back in the day, they all did a, uh, you know, ballistic nylon, and there's nothing wrong with them, you know. Uh, it's, it has a plastic insert. It's pretty stiff. I do like that. It's not all floppy and just flopping everywhere. It's a stiff sheath. It has a good size, generous belt loop. Um, it, of course, it's Velcro, so you can take it on and off without taking your belt off. Um, has the button clasp here. The stitching looks nice uh, along the whole the whole uh get up here um molly compatible uh has a, a a tie to tie around your leg if you want to so it doesn't move around too much of course this little clip here so you can put either fire starter or sharpener or whatever the hell you want to put in this little pouch right here um pretty nice i mean pretty nice actually for for these ballistic sheets i actually like it it's actually not that bad you know um you know you can always make a kydex for it if you don't like it or whatever but for me, this sheath works pretty good for the size of the knife. So let's get to the knife. Bam, there it is. So as you can see, the model number there, let's see the focus is, there you go. SCHF uh, 2 SM. And the two stands for, because the two is the clip point, and SMs are small, because they do make a larger version too. As I, I showed you before, I do have the larger version, which I'll bring in in a minute here to show you. But as you can see, it's all one piece construction. There's no, there's no part here you can see where they slide the blade in or put like a little nut in here. Nothing like that. It's all one drop forge piece of steel. So let's go over the specs real quick. This is 1070 high carbon steel. Um, you have a 5.6 inch blade length, 4.7 inch handle length. Um, you got that titanium coating over it. Um, and this is an aluminum uh, pummel here, hex pummel here. And this, again, this is screwed. So when I say it's all one drop forge piece, there's no, there's no weak points. This is all one solid piece and 1070 is really good still for that. It's strong, it's strong. This thing is awesome. Well-balanced uh, blade. And of course it comes with this, uh, again, just like the bigger one, it comes with this uh, uh, screw kit here. So a, a wrench kit or however you wanna say it, 
uh, screwdriver set, uh, which people, again, will argue that, you know, what's the point of having that on a survival knife, right? They should have did just the, the matches, uh, maybe a, a fire starter, um, ferro rod, or something like that inside here. Uh, fishing hooks and, and needles, things like that instead of this. You know, this is, again, for <laughs> a suburban survival, I guess. You know, if you get use this, if your car breaks down, you need a little tool and you got to have a knife all in one. But this does come off, so you can pull this off and uh, you can put your own stuff, whatever you want in here. So you don't have to use this, which is kind of cool. You can put whatever you want inside this. Um, and you can see in here, I'll show you, as you can see, see what picks it up. You can see there how it is all just milled. This thing is just all milled from one piece. So there's no there's no nut, no bolt, no nothing to hold this. It's all one piece of, uh, of material, all one piece of 175 steel. What's cool about that too, is if you have a dowel or a stick, you could make this into a spear, just, you know, shave it down and just jam this in there and man you got a bitch and long spear you can use for throwing this and using this for hunting or whatever um you don't have to worry about it busting here i would have to say for the money for for this being a budget blade you know around 100 bucks uh, even now uh it's the best hands down you could possibly buy for the money i mean you can get other stuff that's pretty strong or similar strength like the chris reeves ones those go for 800 to 1200 dollars. you know i mean come on for almost the same size same style knife um you know again you can like uh what's a few other ones like lyle knives or um there's a few others out there that do good but again you're you're talking in the thousands you're not talking 100 bucks so for the price this is the best you're not gonna get stronger than this with a hollow a hollow handle knife stronger than this for the price you're just not uh, i haven't seen it um and let's get to the big one now so i'll show you like so this is this is the one i just picked up and luckily i got a pretty good deal on this you know again you gotta do the ebay you guys gotta go do your bargaining on ebay you know um this one i got you know uh well well under what i wanted to pay which was happy with that uh just talking with the guy I and mean, you can see it's brand new out of the box um no blemishes at all on the blade nothing still got that shred in there it's brand new and this sucker is sharp as hell too um and then oh i was gonna say so you show you it's brand new in the box came with all the stuff all the paperwork from uh the taylor company which, is, which made this um, all the paperwork with it. So, I mean, it's, it's brand new out of the box. So I lucked out there too, because they do a lot of these people do sell these used and even the used ones sell for like two or 300 bucks now. Some people try selling it for. Now, if that's what they're getting, I don't think so. But here's the big one. This is just, I already did a uh, review on this one, but just so you compare, the smaller one is, uh, you can see the size difference. You know, obviously this is a cool little EDC style blade. Um, both solid heavy knives, you know, and heavy in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, this one here is a clip point. This one's a spear point, but you can see though, the, they do make a small version in, in the spear point. They're just, I just couldn't find one, you know, and this is the one I saw. Um, but all of them are bitching. All of them are badass. I mean, badass knives. I, I wish they did just a, all the way down with the bigger one, but they do offer this little, I mean, some people like that, but I'm not a, I'm not a fan of serrations, but they do serrations on that. But, um, just to show you the size comparison of the bigger one compared to this little one here. Uh, I like, I said, I like it. I like the, I like this little one. It's, it's, it's nice and light enough, but it's still solid. Perfectly uh, great for throwing. I mean, the freaking balance, it's really good balance on this knife. It's right below, right where the handle starts, right there. And uh, I mean, it's just a great little knife, fast in hand. Um, you can see other people that did reviews on this and they, they, they take it through the paces and this thing holds up just absolutely fine. Uh, 1070. High carbon steel has an awesome heat treat. Um, I had to have it. I had to have it, and I like this. Even this jimp, uh, this uh, stimpling here, they call it. However you, however you want to say it, uh, the texturing is really nice. It's not too aggressive, but it's still tight enough to hold in your hand. And yes, all round handles pretty much kind of, you know, pretty much suck. You know, I mean, you you want something with more ergonomics, but for having a round handle, it's not bad. It's not this one of the most comfortable round handles. Both of these have really comfortable round handles, I have to say, and they, and they grip tight, you know, so you don't have to worry about slipping out with uh, with any fluid or blood or water, or whatever else gets on this handle. You're gonna have a pretty good grip in there. And these pummels are pretty strong too, even though it's like, it's like that titanium, or I'm sorry, that aluminum, uh, aircraft aluminum, so it's strong. I mean, you could you could pound something, I mean, it'll knock you out. <laughs> That's a good little skull buster there. And uh, yeah, so all the way around, I love it. I, I'm glad to add it to my collection. And have both of these you know in the series and like i said i got them both for decent price and didn't pay much over what they went for brand new back in the day i brought out the piece of paper just to show the sharpness of this thing so you can see here 
it's pretty sharp. Yeah, this thing, this thing is uh, came came sharp. Factory, factory edge. I didn't sharpen it or anything. Factory edge there. Oops, a little rip there. Yeah, so I mean it's it's a sharp blade. It's a sharp blade. Razor sharp, hair popping sharp. Um, yeah, nothing else I can say about this thing, man. It's just badass. I'm lucky to have it to my collection and get it for a good price. Um, there are a few on there right now. If you go on eBay, I did see a few for decent that are going for bid. So you could probably get this pretty pretty good deal on this right now. I'm around 100 bucks, I think, because a few people. If you want something like this, I would recommend it for the price. You can't beat it, man. You cannot beat this blade. It's just a heavy duty, hard, thick piece of solid steel. Um, just, just awesome. Just awesome. All right, guys. Please like, subscribe, share, and until next knife gun or whatever.